Hello and welcome. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you can participate in clinical content collaboration using the OpenAir Clinical Knowledge Manager. We open up the Clinical Knowledge Manager in the internet browser on your computer. I'm using Firefox here, but you can use whatever browser is currently installed on your computer. If you come up to the search bar at the top of the screen, type in www.openair.org and forward slash knowledge. Hit enter and the Clinical Knowledge Manager will open. The Clinical Knowledge Manager, or a CKM as we commonly refer to it, is an online application that supports collaborative development, management and publication of a range of international knowledge resources. At present, the main focus of the Clinical Knowledge Manager is primarily on clinical knowledge artifacts that we call archetypes. In the future, this scope will be broadened to include templates and terminology subsets as well. All of these will be providing a foundation for interoperable health records. Now, archetypes. Each archetype describes a single and discrete clinical knowledge concept in a formal and structured way, which means that archetypes can be both meaningful to clinicians at the same time as being interpretable by electronic health record systems. By design, each archetype includes all the attributes that clinicians might want to capture about a specific clinical concept, effectively creating a maximal data set. At the same time, it's designed to be usable in every possible clinical scenario that we can imagine, the universal use case. The creation of archetypes is a clinician-driven task. They put clinicians in the driver's seat for the very first time, enabling them to create the breadth, depth and complexity of the health record and to allow them to shape the electronic health records that will directly support their patient care. Now the types or classes of archetypes that support the recording requirements for clinical activities can be seen down here on the left. These are the main headings here. These represent the classes of archetypes. They're organized currently in an alphabetical order. But if we look at them from a functional view, let's start at the highest possible level. There are four main types or classes of archetypes that you'll see within the Knowledge Manager. The first are compositions. Think of that composition as the equivalent of a blank piece of paper in a traditional paper record. It's effectively a container in which we can place more detailed clinical information, and examples of these include a discharge summary, a report, or a consultation record, generally fairly high-level concepts. Secondly, sections. Think of a section as the headings on that paper document effectively providing the framework in which we can place the detailed clinical information accurately. A classical example of this includes SOAP headings, which include subjective, objective assessment and plan as a framework for recording a classic clinical consultation. Next are entries. An entry is the main clinical statement that holds all the details of clinical content. These are the foundation building blocks for recording health information and ones that you'll work with most commonly. There are five types of entry that correspond to familiar clinical processes. The first are observations, which are those things that are measurable or observable. Examples include all the data recording that's required for history examination and test results, and these include the blood pressure archetypes, pulse, examination findings, and blood glucose. Secondly, evaluations. These are clinically interpreted findings that require clinicians to draw conclusions from evidence gathered from those first observations. Examples of these include problem and diagnosis, goal and risk assessments. Instructions and actions then tend to go hand in hand. The instruction is an order or the initiation of some kind of specified clinical care or process. To balance this, there's commonly a corresponding action archetype, which is used to record each of the activities we carry out in order to fulfill that order. Examples of instruction and action pairs include medication orders and procedures. The final entry type is that of administration entry, which can be used to capture non-clinical information that's needed to support care. For example, recording admission or discharge details that might be needed within a discharge summary. The final class of archetype is cluster. The cluster archetype is one that commonly represents something generic and often reused within an electronic health record. 
Examples include symptom and dimensions, and also the basic principles of inspection, palpation, auscultation and percussion archetypes, which underpin recording physical examination. So coming back to our clinical knowledge manager, here you can see those classes reflected in the left hand side. Here are our compositions. And if we click on this arrow, it will open up and reveal all the current composition archetypes within the knowledge manager. Similarly, if we look at our section archetypes, remember these are the frameworks or headings. Here is an outline, here is a SOAP summary, just as we were discussing. Here are our five different subtypes of the entry archetypes, including our observations. And here if we open that up, you can see each of these are individual archetypes that are of the observation class. So for example, the APGAR score, the blood pressure, a body weight, examination findings. These are all individual archetypes that are maximal data sets for a universal use case. You'll also know there's an icon next to them which indicate the status within the, the current knowledge manager. Uh, and you do get mouse overs too which also explain the ones with the brown pencil are draft archetypes. These are archetypes that have been uploaded but haven't gone through a peer review process. The second type, we'll see if we scroll down a little bit further, is here is one that is in a current review process. So this is in team review, the heart rate archetype. And the third type is that you'll see these with the green tick and these reflect archetypes that have gone through the peer review process. The content has been agreed and these archetypes have been formally published. The Knowledge Manager effectively provides a library of archetypes from all sources. It's a collaborative space where clinicians and informaticians can review these archetypes and formally publish them once agreed, and it also overlays a critical governance process over these archetypes. These archetypes are intended for dissemination, sharing and reuse across multiple electronic health record applications, between health domains and providers, and across geographical and language borders, all of which are absolutely necessary for true and knowledge level interoperability of health information.